TMNT, short video game review. This follows the same plot as the movie with basically the turtles are experiencing some troubles with the whole unity thing and some of them have had to get day jobs to get by. At the same time, there are monsters roaming around New York City and it's up to the turtles to stop them. The basic gameplay is just like that of the more recent Prince of Persia games as of the Sands of Time game. This is partially because it's Ubisoft and maybe also partially because it's a licensed video game, but it is one of the two licensed video games that don't completely suck. If you like that kind of gameplay, you're going to like this game in spite of such annoyances as nearly constant chattering from the Turtles and Splinter during the game and just kind of bad and childish dialogue, really bad puns and jokes, and a constantly hammered home theme of family unity. There aren't that many different attacks, although you do get to control all four turtles and they fight in different ways. All four turtles also have a power attack each, but there's only one attack button and then also a kick button and a dodge button, and the dodge button can just be held down. There's not a lot of challenge to this game. It's basically you master this kind of gameplay. If you're already good at the Prince of Persia gameplay, you're going to be flying right through this game, basically, and there's not... The replayability basically comes from the mastering of it, and then you know, unlocking stuff with the turtle shells you earn along the way. But it does, you know, have some fun with that sort of gameplay, and you do get to run across you know, New York City rooftops and the sewers and such, and the combat can be quite a bit of fun. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.